Hi, Greg here, Kiwi Wanderers. Welcome back. This video, we're going to try and answer that age-old question. Which Starlink is right for me? We'll look at, uh, at the version 2 and compare it to the Mini. We'll look at power use, internet speed, how good is the standard Wi-Fi on each dish, ease of use, in motion use, and finally price. Okay, here we go. Power use. Well, this is always a big concern if you're on the road full time like we are. And of these two systems, it's no surprise that the Starlink Mini uses less power than the standard dish. So the Starlink app has a useful little feature that shows the average power use over the last 15 minutes. Now they both use a bit more power when they're booting up after you've just turned them on. But once running, the Mini uses about 20 watts and the standard dish uses about 40 watts. My EcoFlow power station confirms the figures out of the Starlink app, so that's great. But the real difference for RV people is the Mini can run on 12 volts. You do need a different power lead, so it's not quite 12 volts straight out of the box. Um, but yeah, we run Starlink Mini on 12 volts on our Ranger, and it works well. Of course, you can purchase a kit from several places to run the standard dish. Uh, we've used the X Starlink converter on our dish and it worked really well. Uh, definitely saves power and it brings it down to about 30 watts. But there is a cost. Speed. Uh, so we're out in the middle of the beautiful Marlborough Sounds at the moment. There's no cell service, definitely no fibre, so satellite inter internet is the only option. So I did speed tests on the Mini and the standard dish and here's what we found. I used the Starlink Advanced Speed Test, which shows the speed of the satellite, a uh, speed from the satellite to the dish, and then the Wi-Fi speed from the modem to your device. The conclusion here is that the standard dish is a bit faster, but we've been using Mini for a few months, uh, and we've had no problems. You, we work online, uh, watching YouTube videos, of course, uh, and uplo uploading our own videos. We've had no problems with speed. That said, the Mini is a bit slower, uh, but whether this affects the way it works for you will depend on what you use the internet for. Wi-Fi speed. So Wi-Fi is built into the Starlink Mini dish. It's all part of this compact little unit. And uh, the range is pretty good. I can get about three bars of signal when I'm about 20 meters away, so, so not too bad. The standard dish has its own separate router, and it's not brilliant, but it'll give me about 30 meters range, so, so it wins. But it is using more power, so you would expect that. Both these systems can accept separate routers. Um, I've done a little video on how to do that. Uh, I'll put the link up there. <laughs> Next up, ease of use. Okay, so I found all the Starlink gear very easy to use. Even Sandy can set it up. To use it, you just plug it in and away it goes. But I think the Mini wins here. It only has one lead and one plug. Plug it in, away you go. The standard dish, you need to power up the router, then connect the dish um, it's still pretty easy and the app is user friendly but maybe ease of use it's a tie in motion use so okay so I haven't tried the standard dish in motion motion as mounting it would need to be considerable as it's, uh, it's quite a heavy heavy dish there are lots of sites on the internet which modify the dish to be mounted flat and Starlink have recently introduced the ability to turn off the motors on the dish and uh, have it stay flat so you can be used in motion but the mini definitely wins when it comes to in motion use we've used it on the dash of our ute even uh, in hawaii uh, when we were there and it works great we have our dish permanently mounted on the on the ute and we get internet and phone calls with wi-fi calling wherever we are righto finally price so this is all in New Zealand dollars, and the one thing about Starlink is there's no contract, which is great, you can cancel at any time. But it also means that the price can change at any time. So here are the current prices for Starlink Mini and the standard dish. There are several options on the type of plan. We have a, a roam plan for the Mini, uh, and that's a, the good thing about that is you can pause it for a month or two if you're not using it. Our standard dish uh, is on a residential light, which is very well priced at the moment at $79 per month. Oh, I almost forgot. If you're thinking of signing up for a new Starlink connection, use this link.
or scan this barcode and you'll get the second month free. We also get a month free, so thank you in advance. Okay, that's it. I hope you got something out of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you out there. Tonight we're running on